guess I'll... Don't want to add to Anna's troubles. You've returned. The paperwork is done. You are now the custodian of this book. Thank you, Miss Lisa. But Paimon thinks we're forgetting something. Look, over there on the shelf. Isn't that the Tavat travel guide? And look how many copies there are. <laughs> the Tavat travel guide is a serial publication. It is not part of the library's formal collection. Oh. Take one. Consider it your compensation for being Lisa's little helper today. With you by my side, my troublesome work was a little less dull than usual. Hmm. The Tavat travel guy was just bait to get us to do a day's work. I hadn't anticipated that a few routine returns inquiries would take us out of the city, let alone down into some underground ruins. As compensation for dragging you into all this bother, take these souvenirs. Wow! Lisa went and bought us some special souvenirs! In fact, they were intended for our next outing. But, never mind. We can discuss next time's activity when the time comes. I hope you are looking forward to it. <sighs> Thank you. 
The Abyss Order. Enemies of the human race. Even the underground networks rarely come across any information on them. With that said, it was a bit of a hassle, but I managed to dig up a few clues. Really? That quickly? You really are well connected, Master G. Luke. Come to think of it, Mr. Big Animal God Barbados, why exactly do you need the help of mere humans? Uh, how do I put it? The Seven, as people now know them, were once known as the Seven Archons. Each Archon presides over their own part of Tavat. That is the role the Archons play. Only in performing this duty can we attain power. But I don't like the idea of ruling Mondstadt, and I don't feel Mondstadt would really like it either. Go forth and establish a city of freedom without rule. We have not forgotten Barbados' wish for Mondstadt. Jean, you're such a devotee. Maybe someone got a little too free and is just too lazy to care. Uh, however it may have come to be, I haven't been back to Mondstadt for an extended period of time. Without a doubt, I am now the weakest Archon among the Seven. Aw, <laughs> you flatter me. Oh, such a humble god. Is it a blessing or a curse? <laughs> but we digress. Let's get back to the topic at hand. The common enemy of all mankind. We have tracked the Abyss Mage to the vicinity of the winery. I cannot stress enough how important it is to not let it escape. Mage was defeated, a certain energy dispersed from its body. It seems that energy was being used to cut off the connection between me and Duvalin. Huh. 
Do you know of Storm Terror's Lake? Of course. I believe the people of Mondstadt all know of it. After Devalin woke up, he took the ancient ruins as his lair. As it was with the storms that previously cut Mondstadt off from the outside world, the entrance to the ruins is also sealed by a special barrier. But now, as the energy dispersed from the Abyss Mage, I was able to read the rhythmic flow of how the barrier's magic was woven. <laughs> I must admit, it sounds even more horrendous than a chorus of hilly churls, but it should be enough to let us break through the storm barrier and reach Storm Terror's lair. Which means we're going to confront Devalin? I'm fine with that. Jean is the one who wishes to avoid any direct confrontation. No. When there are no other options left, it is my responsibility to alter our course of action. If slaying him is our only choice, I will gladly become the knight that leads the charge. Fortunately, we have yet to need to go that far. Hmm? By that, you mean... I mean that the Holy Liar is not our trump card. Our real trump card? The Traveler, of course. The Traveler? Correct. But you have a much more precious forte. The impurities in the tears and the curse that binds Devalin belong to the same Maleficent power. Which means... You tone-deaf bard, don't you see how crazy this is? You've seen what Devalin is like when he's ticked off? She'll be swallowed whole before she even gets to lift a finger. Hey. Nice plan. Worth a shot. I am with you, Honorary Knight. Oh, so we just need to fight monsters from the Abyss and a dragon. No pressure or anything. Humans aren't without their strengths. Let's go. And so, epic actions of brave heroes finally leads to this 11th hour.
It's a storm barrier. It looks so dangerous. Leave it to me. Although this wooden liar is all I have, I don't need the liar to break through this kind of storm barrier. Uh, uh, wait, what is that? Yeah! Attack! Prepare yourselves! The stage will need to be cleared before I can begin my performance. Generally speaking, such chores are not the concerns of the performer himself. Wait, what's going on? There shouldn't be any holy trail camps in the vicinity of Storm Terror's lair. usually do not venture into areas with high elemental concentrations. It puts a heavy burden on their bodies. The Abyss Order must be manipulating them behind the scenes, yet they shouldn't have been able to determine that we would come. They're presumably spreading their forces to halt our plans. Without further ado, I suppose I can play faster if my only audience is the wind. This is it. We are now entering Storm Terror's lair. Watch yourselves. Let's move. Like this is the front gate to Storm Terror's lair. The gate is enormous compared to us. But still, Paimon wonders how Devalin gets in there with a body that huge. He doesn't walk in. He flies in. Oh. Hmm, you do have a point. Hmm, 
I suppose we could make use of that wind current. Let's make a detour then. Heading up. Let's make a detour then. Heading up. Hmm. Yeah. Do you think there will be abyss mages hiding in the ruins? Either way, if we do <laughs> run into one, we will let the victorious Master D. Luke do the... Do not underestimate them just because I have beaten one of them before. <sighs> I'm not boasting. I'm simply saying there is more to the Abyss Order than a few mages. Correct. <laughs> That's why I tagged along after all. Well, that and also for your safety. <sighs> why am I so diligent? Too diligent for a poet, in fact. So is this the person that made zero effort to search for the dragon tears and drink in the tavern all day? How that doesn't get it? What part of you is remotely diligent? your luck.
Oh, I can't advance any further. The ruins seem to be guarded by ancient seals. Is this the work of Dvalin? No. These ruins were once part of an ancient city. Dvalin just happens to be nesting in these ruins for now. These ruins even predate the existence of the Four Winds. Mondstadt is a city without a ruler. However, before it was, it was ruled over by a tyrant. Anyway, I'll sing you that story when we have a chance in the future. The markings on this seal. If my archaeological knowledge is not mistaken, this appears to be a light act. If we retrieve and reintegrate all the parts, we should be able to get it working. We should be close to completing the ceremony for this actuator. Let's put the last part back and see. like we're right. There are three more halos circling the tower. Which means there are three more corresponding light actuators to activate. I can see one from here. The rest must be scattered within the ruins around here. Let's go find them. Why did Devalin pick a place filled with puzzles and seals as his lair? Doesn't he get annoyed coming back home? <laughs> he doesn't walk in. He flies in. You do have a point.